Well, with the poll ends, that the Americans are dissatisfied with the State of the Union, and they're dissatisfied, dissatisfied mostly with 45 and how he's fucking up. The turbulence of impeachment, a, content, a contentious squatteral campaign, and a global virus health threat that um, confront 45 as he prepares to deliver the State of the Union address Tuesday night. But one thing about the 45 era has remained remarkably steady. Public opinion on the squatter. Approval of 45 has stayed persistently in negative territory, and the controversy is more polarized now than it has been under any other squatter in recent history. Polls also show that the Americans express significant dissatisfaction with the direction of the country and even and even more so with the state of politics. Even with those downbeat numbers, Americans have, large, have largely positive views of both the economy and how 45 is handling it. Technically, 45 is not doing very good at handling the economy at all. A look at public opinion on the squatter and the state of the union. Uh, and the state of the union. The first one's called the elephant in the room. Um, Forty-five is just the third squatter in U.S. history to be impeached by the House of Representatives. The Republican-controlled Senate, which is conducting the trial, nearly rejected Democratic demands Friday to summon extra witnesses, all but ensuring Forty-five's acqu bullshit acquittal. Final voting on his fate is scheduled for Wednesday on the heels of Forty-five's primetime speech the night before. Impeachment proceedings have closely split the public. In January, a poll by the Associated Press, also also titled NORC Center for Public Affairs Research, slightly more said the Senate should vote to convict 45 and remove him from office than said it should not. 45% said they sh that he should be removed, while 40% said no. An additional 14 of those questions said they did not have enough of an opinion. In the survey, 42% of Americans said that they thought Trump did something illegal in his J July t telephone call with the President of Ukraine, which he did. Zelensky, in addition to 32, said that he did something unethical. <clears throat> a slim majority of the Republicans, 54%, thought Trump did nothing wrong with Ukraine's leader because that's because they're fucking inbred and idiots. But that share declined slightly from 64 in October. Roughly one-third of respond respondents said that they think 45 did something unethical, but not illegal. It was un what he did in that phone call with the Ukraine was unethical, and yes, it was illegal. And just about one in ten said that he did something illegal. The state that the economy is strong, which it technically isn't. Um, still, the squatter has consistently been lifted by Americans' assessment of his handling of the economy, which boasts a, a low 3.5 unemployment rate and steady job growth. In January, 56% of Americans approved of the of, of 45's job, and I'm one of the 56% that would say that he's not doing a good job. He has not done a good job on this economy. According to an AP NORC poll that was higher than the share approving of his handling of trade negotiations, foreign policy, or healthcare, in the same poll, 67% said that they considered the economy to be in good shape, which it really isn't, and it was up slightly from 61% who said that in September 2019, and only about one quarter expected economic conditions to worsen over the next year, and I'm one of those people, I don't want the economy to crash, but I have a feeling that it will by next year. That relatively bright assessment of the economy even extends to many Democrats. No, it actually doesn't. Democrats are actually do not approve of 45's economy and how it's and how shitty it's going. Um, about half of the Democrats rate economic conditions positively, and, and roughly in three percent, roughly three to ten out of ten approve of 45's handling of the issue. I'm one of those people that does not approve of his handling of this issue. Pervas pervasive dissatisfaction. Just as 45 will outline his goals for the remainder of his term on, on Tuesday night, yeah, and he's failed every goal that he's um, put out, Americans have their own idea of what should be a priority this year. An AP NORC poll in December found Americans identified in an open-ended question of the economy, health care, immigration, and the environment and to and it as top issues for the government to address it this year. <clears throat> Few expected the government to make progress on the issues most important to them. In the same poll, just about two, in ten, two out of ten Americans said that they were satisfied with the way things are going in the country today. I'm actually one of those people that's not happy with the way the economy is going and the way that the world's going right now. Nearly six in ten were dissatisfied. I'm, I'm, so I'll be nearly I'll be the one, um, one of the six out of the ten. Looking ahead, more ex more expected things could get worse and not better. Republicans were far more likely to express satisfaction with the state of the country compared with Democrats, 40 to 11 percent. A slim majority of Republicans, 54 percent, anticipated an improvement over the next year, and I don't see any. Among among Democrats, 76 percent said they were dissatisfied. So I'm one of the 76 percent that's dissatisfied, and 66 expect and six and I'm one of the 66 percent that also expected um, to see things get worse. Polarization. This the, this partisan gap in assessments of the country is even wider in assessments of the squatter. 89% of Republicans and just 7% of Democrats approved of 45 on average during the third year of resquadency, which I still don't approve. According to polling by, a Gallup, by something called Gallup, the 82% 
points separating the two parties in their view of the squadron was greater than for any other year of any other squadron C. That persistent polarization has led to an unusual stability in 45's approval rating. <clears throat> while, uh, while approval ebbs and flows from pole to pole, 45's rating had remained with the roughly 10% percent point percentage point range for three years. 45's approval rating is unlikely to change with partisans staunchly in their camps. There's not much room for improvement among Republicans and is unlikely to gain any support from the Democrats. Re-election year precedent. Other squatters' approval ratings have reached lower levels than 45's, but Gallup polling shows 45's average, averages re register lower than the average of most recent squatters. Over the past three months, 45's approval rating has hovered around 42 to 43 percent. That's lower than that's lower than most other recent squatters over the same time period in their first terms. Barack Obama is one exception. Over the same period before his re-election bid, average approval was about 43 percent for Obama, but, but Obama's approval rating never dipped below 40 in Gallup polling, and Obama saw his rating improve slightly by his by, as his re-election approached. While 45's approval rating has never exceeded 46% in Gallup polling, Obama concluded his first term with an average rating just below 50.